Look. So let's see what I what we mean by FRP. As you can see, as you try to, I just wait a minute so that it can check for up. It's just a second. Right, checking info. This is the search way to be checking the security, the security information. Yeah, as you can see, verifying your Google account. As you type in an account here, it requires you to put it to log in with the previous account. So the customer doesn't know the account, so they are here for help. So what you need is uh, a SIM with a PIN. So you just insert the your SIM with the PIN, and what you do at the same time, you press the power button with the SIM like this, like this. Then you enter SIM card and lock PIN. So what you do is again you remove your SIM at the same time when removing you press the power button. So this is what I need to do. Oh, let me try again. I just need to make sure when removing I press the power button like this. So you see, I need to this. Then I come to I power, try to power on the Bluetooth like this. Okay. Let me wait power on the Bluetooth yeah yeah it's working finally so I need to click here yeah. yeah then click on contact us then we say next then okay then you need to go to Samsung internet browser for for on your case you just need to update it here yeah, I open it I open the browser after opening the browser I will go to FRP for Pause the video. So you go to FRP file uh, dot com, then bypass like this. Just go here. So this is the website you need to visit. Uh, then you select this. You download Google Searching APK. I've already done that. This one, Google Searching APK. Then you also download the Apex Launcher APK. Then uh, let me go to the files, downloads. So these are the two files. So in my case, I need to open this one. Let me just install it again. Then I open. Then I will follow. That needs to be done next. So I hope you are following. This is a, a complete bypass Samsung Galaxy A5 Android 8.0. So I hope you are following this, just wait for it to finish installing. So need to finish installing, I don't know why it's taking so long. It's not taking too, so much time to install. Yes, now the Apex launcher has been installed. Let's open it like this. Skip. One screen. Um, okay. So now you you go to settings so we want to go to settings here um, then biometrics and security you go to other settings um, then on 
other settings you go to device admin then you deactivate this one after deactivate that one you just select this one all right you go back like this after that you go to apps then look for google play services google play google play services then disable this one after disabling this one then we go to accounts then we are going to log in with our new account then add account um, Account. Then, then select Google account. Oh wait, 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 we need to something. Sorry. Before we add account, let's go to just see there is some mistake for the kit. Go to files. Uh, let's just uh, redo some things here. Let's go to settings, biometrics, and security. Mm, other settings. Then you go to admin apps, device uh, manager. Yeah, it's okay. So let's go to um, uh, settings, apps, Google Play services, disabled okay still so good confirm so let's go to files out of files go to downloads then you inst you install the google settings application they just wait until it's installed done after that i go to settings I go to settings accounts. I should go to accounts. Then add account. Go go. We just wait and see what's happening. Uh, remember, this is a five hundred eight FRP bypass. We just wait a few seconds. Just a sec. All right. I say I save my account now. Right. Yeah, make sure you put the camera in my password. Just put the camera somewhere. Yeah, put it there. Check in info. Uh, let's wait. Google setting is stopped, but account has been added. So now we can. Uh, what do we do? By the way, we restart our phone. Let's restart it. So let's restart the phone, and now we are good to go. This is a full 